Hi everyone, today we are going to do a reading and see what is coming through. So yeah, we, we will begin, we'll have a look and yeah, see where everything takes us. This is for all star signs. If you're here, hello and welcome. This I feel is a sign that there are some very strong messages for you and we'll see where we go. And uh, I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, personal services, personal readings, Everything honestly is linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. So there's personal readings with me. There's um, the rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal. There's also healing work, prayers and intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with, which is amazing. So, you know, um, all of that is listed down below as well. These items are handmade, meditated with and saged. You won't find these kinds of items anywhere else because of the nature of it. And um, yeah, they're amazing. So um, everything's there, you know, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, etc. Uh, embroidered cards, sage bundles. Okay, so let's begin and see what is coming through. Hi, Priestess. See, this is to do with your intuition. You know that you're a good person. You know that you're a kind person. You know that you always try hard. You try and do as much as you can for the things that you can control. And sometimes you do a lot for the things that you can't control. So what I mean by this is that, you know, if you feel like you're in a situation where people are not being nice to you or kind to you or being very understanding towards you, there's a sense here at times of you wanting to kind of fix those situations, you know, so that it gives you more peace of mind. I can totally, totally understand that entire perspective of things, but also sometimes it can feel like a lot. It can always make you feel like you have to be the one to do everything, which can feel overwhelming and it can feel at times quite um, challenging, right? So there you go. There you go. We're on a roll here. The reading definitely matches up to what I've been saying, which is obviously a very good sign. <laughs> Hopefully that allows you to see how I am as a reader. Um, but that's exactly what it is, you know, eight of swords. And it just makes you feel like, oh, how much more can I do in this particular situation? And why is it always me that has to go above and beyond to fix the situation, to get everybody on the same page? and to make everything work. Like, why do I have to do that? Why aren't they doing that? Why are they so late? You know, you might even think to yourself, why are they so lazy? Well, everyone has, you know, difficulties and challenges in their own way. But yeah, I feel that you take on that responsibility because you're an empathic person, you're a kind person, you're a genuine person, and that's not your fault. That's who you are fundamentally and own it. Honestly, own it because it's special. It's a good thing. It's not terrible. It's not a curse. You are a good person. And Yes, it can make you feel overwhelmed, but guess what? I feel that so many of you watching this are an old soul. Now, that has nothing to do with age, more so past life incarnations. So an old soul is someone who's had lots and lots of past lives, more, of course, than young souls, and you know what you want in life, you know, to a degree. Of course, you're still learning. Of course, you're still growing. It doesn't mean that your growth phase is, like, completely over and you know everything and you're like Einstein, okay? Even Einstein had lots to learn, you know? So you're always growing, but you are much more mature than a young soul. You know what you want, you know how to act on things, you know how to do things, right? So um, to a higher degree. And um, that's really, really quite special. So don't feel like it's, you know, a really bad thing. I know that some of you are always kind of feeling like, why do I have to do everything? I think the most important thing here is setting healthy boundaries. That's very, very significant. Okay, yeah, four of cups, you know, especially you getting rejected when you're a great person and you can think to yourself like, oh my God, like why am I getting rejected when I'm such a great person? I've got this, this, and this. Keep in mind that the reason why is actually because many of you are surrounded by young souls. Young souls who are trying to actively discover a lot more about their life. They're trying to get themselves together. They um, have their own issues and struggles and they're much slower at understanding things and fixing things and realizing things and apologizing than you are because you're an old soul so if you ever wonder why it's always you it's because you're the old soul they're the young souls okay if you are around people that always cause drama always gossiping always doing this and that and this and, that and this and that you're just like what in the world young souls you are surrounded by many young souls. It has nothing to do with age, remember. It's to do with past life incarnations. Yes, people can be immature. But, you know, there's the immature card. Look at that. Seven of swords. Saying one thing, doing another. Okay, especially in regards to love, friendships, family. If you are surrounded by someone who is just like constantly making you feel like you have to do all the work, most likely can be a young soul. Okay, we've also got here as well the five of cups as well. It can just make you feel really frustrated, you know, and upset. 
Remember that rejection is also God's protection, rejection is redirection. These particular affirmations are very important to realize as well because things do happen for your highest good. The universe does want to protect you. The universe also wants you to save your energy for yourself, okay? If people aren't doing what you want them to do, remember you can't necessarily force them to do things, but what you can do is take care of yourself and put yourself first and through spiritual reasons, okay, like this is, this is the bit that is really exciting. By taking care of yourself, putting yourself first, doing you and looking after yourself, the universe will literally shape itself around you. When you do that, you spiritually trigger all of these young souls to start to level up. Like um, they start to heal. They start to figure out what they've done wrong. They can get triggers. They can get lessons, which make them realize what they've done wrong towards you. Do you know what I mean? And this also happens between exes. It happens between lovers. It, it really does. When you start to take care of yourself, your vibrational energy starts to rise. When you are trying to cater to young souls and you're trying to make them understand things and do things, you're actually technically lowering your own energy to a degree because you're trying to meet them, you know, kind of like halfway, but your energy is trying to get them to level up. So you're using your energy to try and make them like you know, do that. Whereas actually by putting your energy first, that triggers them to feel a loss of your energies because you're putting your energy towards yourself and not to them. And then they feel a loss of your energies. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Do you know what? This is, this is a reading that it will make it to YouTube. It will make it to YouTube at some point. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those readings that I hope I didn't confuse you with. That's all I'm going to say. I don't really discard readings that I don't put online. There was one, and that's because, you know, it was just, it was very confusing to understand. And then there was another one, and that was because my device had uh, just randomly shut down on me. <laughs> so obviously we lost the reading. But yeah, it's very rare, but you know, um, hopefully this one doesn't get too confusing. Um, the other thing is the affirmations, okay? So if this is already starting to resonate, comment down below the affirmations of, um, Oh, what, is, what was it? Rejection is God's protection and rejection is redirection. Okay, so we've got here the Ace of Wands, which means that these young souls, these people that are um, always kind of making you feel like you have to do everything, they will come to you. They will contact you. They will, they will be sorry, but only when you kind of don't really care about it and you are much more like the high priestess, doing your own thing, putting your focus towards things that you know need majority of your focus and boom what happens communication what happens things progressing forward what happens stability happens and that is very very powerful you've also got the king sorry not the king <laughs> queen of cups there right so this is about emotionally taking care of yourself look what's happening right now okay is that you are putting so much of your emotional energy to try and help others to try and fix others and you yourself are to a degree depleted, okay? When you do that, you are actually giving away your energy that might not even be reciprocated at this time, you know, because they just want to do whatever they want to do. Why, why do that? You need to keep your emotional energy for yourself. Um, and, you know, they, they can drain you. Like, this can really drain you. It can emotionally actually impact you more than it impacts the other person. So what you have to do is make sure you keep your emotional energy for yourself. Don't overgive. The minute you start overgiving, you can end up being, you know, kind of like a doormat where people walk all over you and they don't really care. And then you can feel like, well, why are they walking all over me when I'm doing this for them? And that's because you don't need to overgive. That's very, very important. The minute you start overgiving, the opposite of this happens, right? Where they're not really triggered to come towards you because they've already got your energy. They're getting so much of your energy. Why do they need to do anything? You're not giving them a reason to do so. So it's really about making sure that you're able to conserve and take care of yourself, put your own energy first, look after yourself, take care of you. Universe will shape itself around you. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's coming through with these cards. I'm not intentionally ignoring you. Well, no, that I mean, they're a young soul, you know, they're kind of just doing their own thing. No, it's not like they're going out of their way to hurt you. They've just got their own lessons. They've got their own kind of things that they are thinking about. They're not purposely trying to hurt you. The shame that eats at me for how I've treated you. Exactly. Okay, it's going to happen. They will have that shame. They will come to you. But it's also going to happen when you don't kind of really care to such a degree. And that's the hard part. 
okay we got i love you whether this is romantic whether this is family whether it is friendship you know these people do have love towards you but they are so wrapped up in their own issues and traumas and you know lessons that it stays hidden to a degree okay and we've also got social media requests and that can happen as well okay so when i say rejection is redirection it means that if you are being rejected by someone right now, put your energy towards yourself. Take care of yourself. Okay, that's really important. Very, very important. And then from my little flip chart, let's see what quote we have today. Oh, oh, it went to one, then went to another one. Only look back to see how far you've come. Very, very important. Extremely significant. Only, only should you look back, okay, to see how far you've come. Looking back keeps you there you know looking into the past constantly keeps you in the past it doesn't allow you to move forward and that's really important so this is actually where the message would have gone um but i put it away and now i can't find the actual message um but yeah that's where it would go so this is your reading of course if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on personal services free reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website i will see you all very soon and take care everyone all right take care bye Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram, actually, if anyone wants to follow me on there. I post short readings on there every single day. All right, take care, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Bye, everyone.